Hey, this is Avish Parashar from SpeakingExpert.com. Let me ask you a question. How do you answer the question, well, what do you speak on? Now, you're going to be asked this question in a few instances. If you go to like an NSA conference, meeting, or convention, that's one of the first things people ask you. Hey, what do you speak on? If you're out in the real world, the real world, the non-NSA Speakers Association world, you will, when people say, hey, what do you do for a living? You'll say, well, I'm a professional speaker. The next logical question is, well, what do you speak on? Now, side note, some people will say, don't say I'm a professional speaker because that's boring. I disagree with that. That's a topic of another post. But from time to time, people will ask you what you speak on. Now, your answer to that question is important because it can open up conversations and lead to work if you answer correctly. Here's what I recommend you do not do. Do not launch into your tagline, elevator pitch, impassioned mission, don't be cute, you know, don't say, well, you know, I talk about the findability factor amongst the, the true people, you know, whatever. Here's why. Number one, you're in a conversation. If you're going to like one of those ex uh, networking exchange meetings, the tip BNI type things where you get 30 seconds to stand up and talk about what you do, that's fine. Go into your pitch. If you're having a one-on-one -on -one conversation with people, remember the word conversation. It should be conversational. Use plain language and be able to explain what you do very concisely and very simply. So for example, my tagline is, on my website is, you know, ding happens, it is how to, I show people how to improvise, adapt, and innovate in an ever-changing world. I like that tagline. It works. It gives people an idea what I do. But I don't say that tagline verbatim when, I'm, when someone asks me, what do I speak on? When they say, what do you speak on? I say, I, uh, I show groups how to use improv comedy ideas to think quickly and ideas to think quickly and deal with change. That's it. Simple, plain language. Now, there's a couple hooks in there. There's, I use improv comedy. Well, that often sets off some bells and people get curious. And there's also think quickly and deal with change because that's the target topic. Now, that's it. It's conversational, though, which means the person I'm talking to, they can decide and they can self-select. They might say, oh, that's... Oh, that's interesting. How do you use improv comedy to do that? Or, or change, or really, our organization's going through change, or I need a change speaker, or whatever. It puts it in their heads. The thing is, it extends the conversation. Now, sometimes people, if they're not interested, they'll be like, oh, okay, that's great. Um, and then I know they're not really you know, a good networking person, then I can move on to the next conversation. But here's the thing. When you launch into that pitch mode, it comes across as so artificial. Once you go into your 20-second, like, here is what I do. Oh, well, I like this, and this, and this. You know, I speak to these groups, and I work with this. It's just, you know... If your demeanor changes from conversational, if you go into canned language, if it's not conversational, it turns people off. It's also much harder for them to pass along your info. When you use plain language, when you just say, oh, I use improv comedy to show groups how to think quickly and deal with change, that can be repeated. People can say, oh, that's the guy who uses improv to talk about change and quick thinking. Great. If you have some long, convoluted system, method, cute, made-up words that you made up, you know, it might get a little attention, um, but it's going to be hard for people to remember and repeat. So, now I know some experts disagree. They say, oh, start with something crazy, and, you know, like something that gets their attention. To me, conversations are conversations. I'm not pitching. I'm not standing on a stage with a billboard. I just want to have a conversation with you, let you know what I do, and take it from there. Now, your minds may vary, but please, why don't you share in the comments below, you know, how do you answer the question, what do you speak on? Once again, this is Avish Parashar from SpeakingExpert.com. For more tips, ideas, blog posts, videos, and a free PDF on how you can get paid speaking work in the next 90 days, be sure to visit SpeakingExpert.com.